In what appear to be the largest attack of its kind in recent memory, approximately seven mortar rounds reportedly were fired at the U.S. Embassy compound in Baghdad. And this is according to the U.S. military officials. The embassy attack also marks the very first time that it has been fired on in more than a year, apparently widening the range of the targets. In recent weeks, dozens of military bases housing U.S. forces have been attacked. Now, the United States has condemned the attacks and has called on Iraq to bring the perpetrators to justice. The U.S. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller has said in a statement that I quote, the many Iran-aligned militias that operate in Iraq threaten the security and stability of our personnel and our partners in the region. Meanwhile, the Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al-Sudani has warned that the attacks on the U.S. Embassy undermine the country's security. He also called on the security forces to bring those responsible to justice. The UN Assistance Mission for Iraq has condemned the attack and has warned of repercussions. They wrote on social media platform X and I quote, The UNAMI condemns this morning's rocket attacks on the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad and all diplomatic premises must be protected in line with international law. Now, the attacks have come against a backdrop of more than two months of war between the U.S. ally Israel and Hamas in the Gaza Strip. Now, the United States leads an international coalition that seems to be battling the jihadists in Iraq and neighboring Syria, even though the Iraqi parliament had passed a resolution demanding that all American troops must leave immediately. Now, the American troops have been attacked at least 84 times since the 7th of October. The Pentagon has said that these attacks have left at least about 60 U.S. personnel wounded. The U.S. has responded with a series of air bombings that have resulted in at least 15 militants getting killed in Iraq and seven others in Syria. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.